Hey, how's it going? Today, I recently just got back from watching the Demon Slayer movie. And boy, oh boy, was it fire. So today, I'm going to give my review on it. I will be avoiding all spoilers in the movie, except for maybe a little tiny segment at the end of the video. So watch out for that. So to start it all off, this movie begins right where the first season ends, with Tanjiro and his gang boarding the train to solve the case of why 40 people have gone missing in the period of time. But oh my god, do they get a lot more than what they signed up for. The movie is two hours long, with good pacing throughout. And about halfway through the movie, it's re it really starts to pick up. And boy, when it picks up, it picks up. Alright? The action is incredible and does not cease until the end. Additionally, to go with that incredible action, they had smooth and crispy animation that just made it all flow and go together. And I've seen some reviews that give it, you know, a lower score for the reason that the arcs presented from Demon Slayer don't seem like something that should be put in a movie. But oh my god, did the amount of work in there and like just amazing tension to detail just ties this whole movie together no matter what any bad review may say. Furthermore, the animation towards the ending is impeccable. It moved me so much in just like the showcasing alone. You can really see everybody at Ufotable put so much work into it just to make it a wonderful movie. And there's a reason it was Japan's number one movie for time being. Regardless of COVID or anything, it was great. It got everybody out there to watch it. And when I watched it, I was moved. I felt the wind blowing in my face just from the animation alone. So the story was overall really good. And of course, this does tie into the original story presented by season one. And if you want to continue, you know, watching anything from Demon Slayer, you got to watch the movie. But the direction was done in a really good way to make all the viewers just feel really immersed in the movie's atmosphere. To the point where I could feel my heart pounding as things got more intense and riveting. Alongside all of that, the music that was added really, really helped every single moment across the movie, especially towards the end. So all in all, I would rate this movie quite highly, probably a 9 out of 10. My reason for this being is that I know people complain about how it didn't feel like a movie due to, you know, the arc, and that's fine, but with what was presented, Ufotable did an amazing job with what they had. With the story, they carried it through all the way to the end with great music, action, feeling, emotion. It had everything, and they did it to their best ability. So that's why I give it a 9 out of 10. Say what you will about the Demon Slayer fan base. It's not just over-pushing it. It was genuinely good. So now I want to discuss one spoiler with you. So, if you've read the manga, or you've watched the movie, or you just don't care about spoilers, you can stay. But if you haven't, go. I don't want to spoil anything for you. This is your last chance. Go. If you, you know, haven't seen it. Alright. Time to get into it. So the movie, the movie did a wonderful job at its emotional impact. And as I'm sure, if you know, because this is the spoiler section, and you've seen it, Akaza, the the third upper moon joins the movie. And unfortunately, our man, Ren Goku, Kyojiro Ren Goku, passes. Although he puts up a wonderful fight and stays strong till the very end. And this was adapted into an anime format really well. So that is also another reason why I give it a 9 out of 10. So that's my overall review. If you enjoyed it and agree, I would highly enjoy a like or comment, and see ya.